ChatGPT took the internet by storm, and over the last 12 months, OpenAI's competition have fought hard to reclaim AI market share. We've seen Google Bard, we've seen Amazon Q, but now there's lots of noise around the AI startup Anthropic and their chatbot Claude, which has seen more than 350,000 people sign up to the waitlist for Claude 2. But what is Anthropic, and how is Claude different to ChatGPT? Let's take a look. Anthropic AI is a San Francisco startup focused on AI safety and research that looks to design reliable, interpretable, and steerable AI systems. Founded by Dario and Daniela Amadai, who were previously senior figures at OpenAI, Anthropic is set up as a public benefit company designed to make a profit, but only by working on something that has a positive impact on humanity. Anthropic's focus is to build large language models and the chatbots that use them, which is where Claude comes in. Anthropic has had some serious hype since 2021, when it raised its first funding round of $124 million, which included Jan Tallinn as an investor, the co-founder of Skype. Since then, Google has invested almost $400 million and holds a 10% stake, but the big player truly is Amazon, who have pledged up to $4 billion. This gives Amazon a minority stake in Anthropic, and the deal is structured as an initial $1.25 billion, with either party having the right to trigger another 2.75. Anthropic will also use AWS data centers to help train and deploy its models. In May, Anthropic also raised another $450 million at Series C, led by Spark Capital, so they have a decent pool of cash. But stay tuned to the end of the video to see why Anthropic are in the middle of a corporate mess right now, thanks to one of their investors. Take a guess who it is in the comments. But first, let's take a look at the real product that is the cause of Anthropic's mega valuation. Like ChatGPT, Claude is an AI assistant that was first released in March 2023. Claude 2 was then released in July 2023 as a new and improved language model. According to Anthropic, Claude 2 scores higher on bar tests and was twice as good at giving harmless responses. Interestingly, Anthropic have also launched a smaller, lighter, and cheaper model called Claude Instant, which is faster but less detailed. Claude 2, on the other hand, can process an insane amount of information, with Anthropic expanding its context window from 9,000 tokens to 100,000 tokens, meaning it can handle up to 75,000 words, which is perfect for businesses looking to analyze documents. But now that there are so many chatbots to choose from, what's the difference between the market leader, ChatGPT, and Claude 2? Well, ChatGPT is more powerful than Claude. Claude is trained on 137 billion text and code parameters, which is on par with ChatGPT's free version, which uses 175 billion. But GPT-4, the paid version, is trained using more than 1.5 trillion parameters, making it astronomically larger and more powerful. But on the flip side, Claude's impressive 100,000 tokens is market-leading and way bigger than GPT-4's paid version of just 32,000. Both chatbots similarly retain your conversations to train the models, however Claude differs from ChatGPT when answering questions thanks to its constitutional AI, which helps Claude 2 to produce more consistent, safe responses. Claude has been built to fine-tune itself using the constitution before providing answers rather than just waiting for human feedback to understand what it can and can't say, like with ChatGPT. Both ChatGPT and Claude are revenue generating. ChatGPT is edging towards a billion dollars in annual revenue, but it does cost the business over $700,000 a day just to keep it up and running. Anthropic hopes to make around $17 million in monthly revenue by the end of this year, and their 2024 prediction is closer to $500 million a month. It makes Anthropic and Claude 2 a serious challenger to ChatGPT, and after OpenAI's problems over the last few weeks, Anthropic have perhaps caught them up. However, as we mentioned earlier, Anthropic has not been without controversy, thanks to heavy links to FTX and Sam Bankman-Fried. If you don't know that story, check it out here. And if you made it this far into the video, please consider subscribing. It really helps. Sam Bankman-Fried is facing several federal charges for fraud through his FTX business, which crashed and burned last year. FTX invested almost $500 million into Anthropic AI in April 2022. OpenAI rival Anthropic's growing value is sparking hope for some FTX creditors that they will be made whole. And Sam Bankman-Fried's legal team are consistently trying to bring up that investment and its subsequent return on investment into his legal case. It's a fantastic 
fantastic turn of events for FTX creditors. However, the Department of Justice are not interested in bringing it up, because that money came out of the pockets of FTX customers who have been defrauded. After Amazon's investment of $4 billion that seriously impacted the valuation of Anthropic, Sam Bankman-Fried's argument is that the return on investment might be so large that it could be used to repay FTX customers. The current value of the Anthropic shares could only go to the question of whether customers will ultimately be made whole which is immaterial to whether the defendant committed the alleged fraud, the Department of Justice argued. Do you think that FTX's stake in Anthropic should be used to pay back FTX creditors? Let us know in the comments below.